Right, so I came across something really interesting. The Gophers team just launched Gophers on DGen Chain. Now, DGen Chain is a layer 3 uh, blockchain which sits on top of the layer 2, but that's not why I'm making this video, right? It, they, they're doing some interesting technical stuff that I think could really be, that it might lead to having a, a narrative of these uh, layer 3 chains. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I think the Gophers on DGen Chain is sitting at $310, right? So I think that that's pretty good. If you look at Gophers on Ethereum, it's over $1,000. Gophers on Solana, it's over $1,000. And I think it's the same for Gophers on Ethereum. So it, I think there's massive room for, for price appreciation for Gophers on DGen Chain, Chain. And the fact that I think DGen Chain has a really good opportunity to, to be one of the more competitive chains uh, in this run. Now, right now, uh, Pulse Chain is in front of DGen Chain in terms of 24-hour volume. So, but I do expect that there's a big possibility because there's a lot of people who are pushing this DGen Chain who really want this DGen Chain to pump. So, but looking at this, uh, at Gophers on DGen, right? I don't really think that uh, long term, I don't think it's a good idea for them to launch on multiple chains. Uh, because if you look at it, right? Uh, Pulse Chain, Hex on its own had a higher valuation at the top than Pulse Chain, Pulse X, incentive token hex on pulse chain hex on ethereum the value of hex on its own is greater than the value of all these combined so i think also think that the fact that they are they keep launching at new chains i don't i think in the long term it will be bad for for the tokens themselves and it's going to hinder growth significantly because majority of the holders of gophers are from the pulse chain community and if 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 if, if Gophers was onboarding more people from those other communities, I think that it would have a really strong chance to be strong. But right now, I think that there's too many tokens launched. So I don't think it's a good long-term hold for, uh, in regards to Gophers on, on DGen Chain. Especially the fact that, look, Gophers on Solana recently launched. And it doesn't have time to grow. And there's already another Gophers that's launching on, on DGen Chain. I don't think that's a great idea. Now, having said that, I do expect the price of Gophers on DGen Chain to pump soon i expect it to, to to pump i expect it to pump because it's right now it's the only gophers token that is kind of undervalued that is below 500 bucks and it's that's below a thousand rather so there's massive room for growth so i do think that holding it right now uh maybe up to 600 dollars and maybe taking some profits there and maybe uh, moving that over to pulse if you want i think that's a great trade in my view uh but i don't think that continuing to launch more tokens because what happens if another chain starts popping off right are, are they going to launch another dj uh, 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 another token on those chains so i i, I i'm I, i'm kind of I'm, I'm i'm cautiously bullish on gophers but uh this i don't i don't like the strategy of continuing to launch token after token after token after token i don't think it has a good uh historical precedent of being successful those are my views on the gophers i do think there's an opportunity to make money but i also do think that uh there's really it's it's one of those where you need to be extraordinarily cautious take advantage of the trade that is definitely they staring us in the face which is uh it's still kind of cheaper and it has already spiked to those numbers right it's sitting at 310 dollars right now but it did spike up it had a big wick up well the big there's a big wick up that goes past a thousand but then it really where it really kind of stayed long is about five eighty six hundred dollars it kind of held that price so i do expect it to, to to go back up now obviously we can have some volatility up and down but i do expect it to to to, to I, I do think that it's an it's an easy trade to make some money right now when the markets are kind of quiet anyway guys if you think i'm wrong let me know what you think in the comments below uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again next time